up to what a hot hatch should be. It's, it's a good fun little car. You can really throttle steer it. You can feel like through the fast change of direction over the back. You can feel the back of the car dancing around. As I said, it, it, it's what a it's what a hot hatch should be. I think the biggest disappointment in this car is it's finally Ford have given us a car that's worthy of the RS badge and they haven't put it on us. It, it, um, it, it's it does everything right. Probably it'd be nice if the engine had a few more revs to play with. It's sort of sort of six and a half. It sort of dies off. You'd like it to sort of. I suppose a, a, a true hot hatch probably revs to sort of seven and a half or thereabouts. But it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's got good initial turn in, and as I said, you can really use the throttle to help steer it and also steer it from the back. And as I said, for me, that's what a hot hatch should be.